beautiful Tuesday morning. Welcome to the second episode of French Facts, episode 2, Pommes Frites. Yes, uh, in the last episode we had some fun looking at a few things here and there. We're going to continue today with La Maison, things we find at home. So let's look at our agenda for today, Structure de la Leçon. So we'll have our astuce du jour, which will be in a minute, and then we'll look at parts of a building, la maison. La maison means house. So you can't get it. Without further ado, let's jump straight to the astuce du jour. Qu'est-ce que nous avons aujourd'hui? S'il vous plaît, donnez-moi whatever you add. Please give me. In the last lesson, I talked about the expression s'il vous plaît. It means please. Now you will have to take a particular caution to say play and not pleur or anything else because then you change the meaning of what you have over there the expression is s'il vous plaît donnez moi so you want to say please give me a b c d s'il vous plaît donnez moi a b c d simple comme bonjour donc uh, merci beaucoup ça c'est notre astuce du jour let's jump in straight to the parts of the building Une ou la maison. Repeat after me. Une ou la maison. The ou is the dash, which stands for or. La maison. La maison. Une maison. Une maison. Le mur. Le mur. Un mur. Un mur. For the avoidance of doubt, it means the wall. La fenêtre. La fenêtre. La fenêtre. La fenêtre. It means window. Une porte. Une porte. Une porte. La porte. As we said in our last lesson, when you find une, it goes with la. When you find un, it goes with le. Une porte. Une porte. La porte. Porte. On continue. Le portail. Le portail. Un portail. Un portail. This means gate, as you can see that before you. Le couloir. Le couloir. Un couloir. Un couloir means corridor. This is a corridor. Le balcon. Le balcon. Un balcon. It means balcony. Bedroom. La chambre à coucher. So let's take each word one after the other. Chambre. Chambre. Coucher. Coucher. Chambre à. Chambre à coucher la chambre à coucher now this literally means sleeping room the word coucher means to sleep je couche tu couches but so la chambre à coucher the bedroom on continue la chambre à manger now, as you can see, this is a dining room. So, 
hit me up in the comment section with what you think manger means. La chambre à manger. 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 Le garage. Un garage. Un garage. Le garage. Une salle de bain. The S at the end of bain is silent, as you will find with many French words. Keep a lookout for that. La salle de bain. De bain, sorry. La salle de bain. Une salle de bain means bathroom. Alright guys, uh, we've had fun looking at the parts of the building, the various different rooms we have in the building and what their names are in French. Uh, I'm going to give you a homework this time. With the last lesson I gave you an astuce du jour. With this lesson I gave you an astuce du jour. Now with the various things you've learned from each lesson, write down 10 sentences. Use the astuce du jour and the various things we've learned in the vocabulary section to put down 10 sentences. That's about all. Peace out. Oh, of course, my email you can find in the previous lesson. Uh, just go to the end of the video, you'll find my email over there. Or you can check any of the other lessons, you'll find my email in the description. So you're going to send those. I'll send the, you can check the description for the deadline for the assignment too. That's about all. Peace out. Au revoir. Ciao.